All right, let's now let's continue further and look at question three. And this one states, suppose the tetrahedron in the figure has a tri-rectangular vertex, <laughs> and that's what I was assuming the whole time, uh, uh, vertex S. This means that the three angles at S are all right angles. And it says, let A, B, and C you know, be the areas of the three faces that meet at S and let D be the area of the opposite face P, Q, R. And then using the result of problem one or otherwise, show that D squared equals A squared plus B squared uh, plus C squared. And this is a three-dimensional version of the Pythagorean theorem. And yeah, let's just take a look at the solution quickly. So using the results from question one, the areas of the faces are as follows. So basically we just draw a tri-rectangular uh, vertex right here, or tetrahedron, the tri-rectangular, or, or a tri-rectangular tetrahedron. So let's just write this down. So basically what it's saying is, if you have this triangle, we're gonna draw the, the original triangle, I mean the original tetrahedron. There's P, there's Q, there's R. And this goes like this all the way to S. And this goes like that. Uh. And these are all right angles. This is at S. Like that. And this is at S with tri rectangle. So this is a tri rectangle, rectangle, rectangle for the uh, 90 degrees. So that's S there. And now the areas A, B, C are the areas of three faces that meet at S. So three faces are right here. So we'll call this one A, call this B, just to make it line up with v1 v2 v3 that we had earlier and this is c and then d is the opposite uh face p q r so d equals to the area of the p q r like that all right so now using the results of question one uh we can get the area so basically a this one a is just equal to well the the length of the v1 vector this equals two let's just scroll all the way back up and see what we had. And uh, this is all the way up above here. So that's the V1. Yeah, this one is just one half QR. So remember V is the opposite of, um, of the P. So the top here P, so this would be V1, this is V2, V3. So in other words, A, B, C, and D. And the answers we had were right here, one half QR is V1. Then one half PR. And then the other one's PQ right here. Then lastly is this one here. This is a V4, and this has all of them PR, PQ, QR, etc. And you can just move this one half inside and so on. So let's put this all here. So this equals two. Yeah, so one half, uh, this is QR. And then B, this was just equal to V2. It's equals to one half uh, PR, and then C is equal to uh, the V3, one half uh, Q, uh, not, not just PQ, I mean, like that. And then D is equal to the V4, see if I remember this one correctly. This was just one half square root, and then this we had a PR squared plus a pq squared plus a qr squared. So the order is a bit different. All right. All right, and now this one, we can just put this back inside. So you could do a, uh, let's put it for completeness. This is gonna be square root, and then this is gonna be one over, uh, this is squared. So squared, square root, just get it out of there. And this is uh, like this, uh, this is, and, and shift this around. So we move this qr in, in front, like that, qr squared, so it matches up with this a, and then pr is in the middle. Uh, this is gonna be pr squared, plus the next one is uh, p, q is a c, so move this one over to this side. Like that, and so on. All right, and just box this in, this equals two, and yeah, put this one half inside every single one, so again, we get, this is a, a lot of this is just redundant, but it's pretty straightforward. So one half QR, uh, and then all squared, and then one half PR, all squared, plus one half PQ, all squared, like that. All right, in other words, this is just our A, uh, this one is uh, gonna be our, our B is our C, and so on. 
and all squared. So, and then we could also, uh, uh, yeah, this is going to be our D. This is, so basically this is D, but now if you square both sides, square, square, etc., and then we're just going to get the 3D Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> so this is going to be, uh, yeah, this is going to be our A. So this is our A, this one's B, you know, B squared plus C squared, like that. And there is our answer. That's what we're asked to solve. And yeah, this is one half uh, QR, PR, PQ, and then et cetera, Just shift this around and make it all the exact same. So one half uh, QR, one half PR, one half PQ, line up to ABC. Yeah, so that's exactly this. So using the result, we just show that it's equal to, well, D squared equals A squared plus B squared plus C squared. So epic, epic stuff. And yeah, three-dimensional, uh, yeah, three-dimensional Pythagorean theorem, very amazing.